Good morning, everybody. Um, I wanted to show you how um, easy it is to make a cold brew coffee in the morning. So um, I want to show you this cold brew pitcher. And uh, how you make cold brew is you take the filter that comes with it and you fill it up with about a cup of coffee grounds. So like up to here. And then um, you set it in your pitcher like that. Uh, and it sits right down in the in the bottom and then you're going to filter water through it slowly until it fills the water up to about here and then keep it in your fridge or on the counter um, for about 12 to 24 hours and then you're going to pull out the filter and let the water drain and then you just get rid of that <clears throat> then you basically have a coffee concentrate at that point um, it only comes to about here once you take the filter out. So then I like to fill up my pitcher with water um, and dilute it a little bit so it's ready to go every day. Um, now the difference between cold brew coffee and iced coffee, um, because they are different, is that iced coffee is a hot coffee brewed over ice. Okay, so it was it went through a heating process and then cooled off with the ice. Cold brew coffee literally just brews the coffee with cold water over time. So that makes it less acidic, um, a little bit smoother, um, better for like your stomach or your guts if you have any issues with ulcers. Um, it can be a little different, smoother, um, richer flavor than your over iced coffee. So um, there are benefits of it, but the other benefit of having iced or uh, cold brew coffee around in your fridge all the time is that you can make it however you want. So one of the ways I've been drinking mine lately um, is with half and half. I've always been kind of addicted to creamer. That's kind of my weakness. I like, I almost like my a little coffee with my creamer. That's just kind of... <laughs> Oh, I like it, but um, I'm trying to cut back on creamer, what's in the creamer that you buy and go to a little bit better for you. So half and half. And that's about the color I like mine. <laughs> like I said, not terribly strong coffee, but you can't start with a weak coffee because it doesn't stand up to the cream and the milk that you put in it. And then, so lately, I've been using maple syrup. And not just like regular pancake syrup, but actual pure maple syrup as a sweetener because it's a little better for you than sugar. It adds a little bit nuttier flavor or fall-like flavor. And, um, and, yeah, so I don't have to have the really really strong like sweet sweetened creamer and then I like to top it off with a little cinnamon so that is my cold brew coffee in the morning and the cool thing about cold brew coffee is it doesn't have to be cold you can brew cold brew coffee and then stick it in the microwave to warm it up if you'd rather have a hot cup of coffee but because the beans or the, the grounds were never heated, you're still going to have a less acidic coffee, better for your stomach and whatnot. So, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.